Hi, welcome back to Lingua Memes, and today we're doing French. And oh, French. It, was, was that a voice I heard? Yeah, that was uh, the voice of someone who, who's missed French. We haven't done it in a while. Did, uh, you, hi. did you just ran randomly hijack my Skype? Do I know you? Yeah, uh, you do. Uh, this is Todd. Oh, Todd. We've known oh. each other for a few whiles now, and oh. we've uh, both found a shared passion for helping people learn languages better than what they was learning them before. I Great. do have a degree in English, folks, don't be fooled. You can tell, you can tell. Right, so we're <sighs> looking at this game, and it's called Game 10. Game yes. 10 is where you are provided randomly with a word, in this case, chien, mm. um, which I think means dog. It does, of course it does. Um, oh, there it is. I've just clicked on the information kiosk. And it says dog. Um, and then our linguist has given us some descriptions of dog. So this is like a game that we could play, really. But we'll do the first one where where both Todd and I know what it is. But mm. we might do the next one oh, without knowing. All right, all right. So one of us will do do it, and the other will have yeah. to guess what word the other person is describing. Okay. Don't you think the people watching this should play along at home, Danny? Yeah, of course they should. Yes, they can play this game at any time they want. All they have to do is go to linguamemes.com and type in this particular game code, which is... N38W. That's lowercase letters. Four N digits. for November. Mm -hmm. Three for three. Yeah. Eight for eight your greens. And W for Wally. Eight for why? Just eight as in number eight, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. W, and w, w for Wally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and stick then that in. Stick your email in in the box underneath, and uh, you'll be sent a link to this very game. Yeah. And which will that link will last for thirty six hours, but if it runs out, you can be sneaky and type it in again. <laughs> So, we're going to just run through it together to show yeah. the basics, but then we're going to play it for reals. Okay, so you do, you click on the word, I'm clicking on, uh, the translation is here in the information kiosk here. It is mm. C. Un, which is A. Un. So, we're trying to describe un, un chien to somebody. I'm not going to pronounce this next word, because I could get it horribly wrong. Well, that's what the red speaker's for, but we don't want to slow ourselves down at this rate, do we? So. It's a mammal. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to click. I'm going to click on the pronunciation thing, which goes to a um, a Google page, which, with a little bit of blooming luck, will give us a a readout of that. C'est un mammifère. Mammifère. Isn't it mammifère? Well, look, Google <laughs> has more resources than the entirety of the universe. <laughs> even if you I'm take, listening. even if I'm you take multiverse Google. theory into the equation, it still Which has. I don't. And they say it's. I certainly do not take multiverse theory in, uh, into the equation, as you know from us discussing that in a. C'est un mammifère. Well, I listened to Tanta Google too, and she said "mammifer." So, but let's let's put our swords down. Seriously, uh, did your Google say it differently to yeah, me? Definitely, D there's no accent on the la on the second D. It's just "mammifer." How strange, eh? Right. Well, I'll these are the kind of disagreements you want to have. If you, are you sure you got your set to French? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> C'est une mamie ferrée. That's what my f one. All right, let's leave it slightly open for debate. Yeah, it'd be a good bit of fun. Comment, people, who's right? Luckily, um, you're not likely to use the word mammal much. No, <laughs> in it's French. Not, not in general conversation, unless you're a French biology teacher. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, when you when you go to the post office, you say, mm, I would like a stamp with a picture of a. Um, uh, mm -hmm. oh, what do you What's that word again? Not a, not a lizard, not a bird. That um, darn lingua memes told me not to remember this word because they said I'd <laughs> never need it. I need a picture of a mammal. Oh. Not fussy. 
you know, bear, dolphin. Not fussy. Long at least, at least it's a similar word. It's got loads of M's in it. It is. It does. So um, we want to click a button now, don't we? Just yeah. To, should we? Should we show how else it can work with keep this clue? Um, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to click. I'm going to click done. So I'm going to get a different okay. clue, and now I'm going to gonna tell you. I'm going to say I'm going to hide it from you. You can't see my screen mm. today, can you? I can't. Right. No. Okay. Do, do, do. It is a building with many. Rooms. Now I'm gonna say this in front. I was gonna say I thought you should you should send me the uh, the French and I should have to work it out. See, folks, yeah. this is what you do. You I'll, I'll I'll read it. Well, you know the English, but I'll just find out the French. Test your friends. C'est un bâtiment avec de nombreuses chambres. De nombreuses oh, chambres. That's my surname. Avec de nombreuses chambres. chambres. Many rooms. Nombreuses mm. chambres. Now you have to invent a system for this. I think I get three questions what? or guesses total. Yeah, go on then. Just have a guess. Have a guess. What right. is it? A building with many. C'est un bâtiment avec de nombreuses chambres. Right. Well, I'm not going to ask any questions. We're not going to waste time with turning questions here. I'm, I've got. I've already got three ideas as to what it might be. A building with many rooms. Yeah, go on then. What is it? Is it a mansion? No. Is it a hotel? Yes. Yes. So, lingua okay. victory. You've got to give me a big green tick because that's what most lingua memes games do. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll do one on my screen. With I'm doing one with my mouse. I know you can't you see go. it. I know you can't see it, but I promise you, it's there. And if you ever bo if you ever actually bothered watching any of our YouTube things, then you'd <laughs> actually s you'd actually see that, wouldn't you? Right. Um. Done. Okay. I've got another one for you. That was pretty good. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna keep testing me first. Right. C'est un objet qui protège, I think it is, du mauvais temps. C'est un objet qui protège du mauvais temps. Is that du, um du mauvais temps? Object? I'm just du gonna check on the um pronunciation on that because I, hmm. I, I don't want but I don't want people running off to their French teacher saying eh, lingua memes chap you told me this and it's all wrong yeah we're getting trouble with teachers yeah well protege I mean as far as I know means protect so. yeah okay um, can you just keep silent for a sec Todd no, no. yes c'est un objet qui protège du mauvais temps I think I got it right c'est un objet qui protège du mauvais temps there we go. Well, what the heck is a mauvais? This is the only thing I'm... Mauvais, I'll give you a clue. It's bad. So it's similar to the start of mal, like we use in English, don't we? Mal. Malintent. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So mauvais is a bit like mal, but they just like stretch the word out with a load of stuff on the end. Bad. Ton? In quel ton fait-il? That's... Weather, isn't it? Tempestuous. Oh. Tempestuous. So an object to protect you in bad weather. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. It's got a. Well, I. I wish I could figure out because this 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 sounds easy. I don't know, but I wish I knew the French. It could That's be Wellington real. boots, couldn't it? It could be Wellington could be, boots. But I think it's probably. Un. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I know. I do know actually. Um, oh, I only did a year of French. Is it parapluie? Pretty good guess. Parapluie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Umbrella. Parapluie. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, because uh, it's just like parasol. Yeah, and I think the pluie is rain. Mm. And the para is the sort of. Mm, it's a kind of. How would you describe it? It's a sort of. Well, it's the it's the the middle bit. I that's the way I. Look it's at a it. defense against something. A power, isn't yeah, it? pretty much. Uh, yeah. Um, well, well done. You got that one. Ah, oh, two for two. All right, I like I like being the questioner, so I'll carry on <laughs> with this. <laughs> All right, I'll get you back on the German ones next time. 
Go on then. Cela contient de l'encre. Okay, I'll do the um, pronunciation just just in case. Just in case I got it wrong. <laughs> Cela contient de l'encre. Cela contient de l'encre. Contient. Contient. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about contient. I'm not sure what that is. Contains. Okay. Cela it contains. Yeah. Le. De 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 e l'encre l apostrophe e n c r e l'encre. It contains l'encre. Do you want another guess? Do you want another clue? Oh. Um, long. Is that ink? Yes, well done. Ah, okay. It contains oh. ink. Could now, be, this could be a few Could things. be a squid. Could be a squid. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> what is it then? All right, well, I get. I, I maintain that I get three. I think it's the pen. Yep. Yeah. And what's that? I'm no, going to say. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be an inkwell. Um, Pen in French, I'll be really embarrassed if I get this wrong. I think what, uh, do you know what? I think what my teacher taught me was, um, I think it was, I think they, she said la plume, or, which I think oh, maybe, like, uh, like a feather, like a quill. La plume de maton, didn't it? Right. I'm not sure what the actual yeah. word. Um, that might be a synonym and it might be accurate, but it's not the word I've got. I've got, I've got stylo. Oh, stylo. Like a oh, stylus, okay. like a stylus, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Mm, well done, you're... Hey, you're pretty good, you're, though. you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Okay. Jesus. I've got another one for you now. Okay. Say. This is all from Lingua Memes, you know. This is le one year of French in Lingua Memes. Say le. Pay. O. La capoeira. Oh, hello. That's that's a word I know. A ete crée. Okay, I'll give it, I'll I'll get find the correct pronunciation of that. C'est le pays où la capoeira a été créée. I think I got it right. C'est le pays où la capoeira a été créée. Right. Well, the only bit that puzzles me is that p, p a, p p a y s. It's spelt p a y s p. -A. Hmm. S strange. Oh, is that the P. place? P. Is that the place where capoeira was created? S yes. Aha. Yeah. Well, you want a, a bit more specific is country. Oh, I think country. It is country. Yeah. I've never heard that one before. Though. That's very strange. Pay de Gaulle. Do you know Pay de Gaulle? Oh right. Yeah. Okay. I okay. think that's Wales. Well, you've. Uh, isn't You've it? wandered right into my neighbourhood here, I'm afraid. So I'm I know. Four four four. All uh, right. I will struggle, of course, with the uh, the French pronunciation, but I'm going to guess that it's something like Brazil. It's so close, and I think you. I think it's Brazil. Really? Brazil. Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Brazil. <sighs> yeah, you got uh, B R E E aigu or acute mm -hmm. as uh, some people say yes. right Brazil mm -hmm. okay. Brazil yeah it's it is the country where capoeira which is how do you describe capoeira it's your, it's your sort of thing isn't it how do I describe capoeira yes yeah, like a um, martial art of some kind yeah I describe it as a um, I describe it as a martial art that has most obviously got a lot of dance like elements to it uh, you can you can use it as a dance essentially more easily mm. than perhaps any other combat style so okay. some some people do i mean it is it, it can be used as a game essentially which is uh, quite unusual and then the end of that sentence is a été créé. so this is a past mm. tense of Etra, I should think. Right. So that is a very that's a that's some real. Specific, I mean, I'm a huge martial arts enthusiast, so that's very specialist knowledge. So that's a tricky one. Uh, it was. All right, I'm going to go to a new question now. We've done Stilo. Ha <laughs> ha. You'll never get this one. 
No. Is it football? <laughs> <laughs> might be. Might not be. Oh, right. no. C'est un chanteur canadien. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to click on the... Um... Oh, Canadi Canadian, Canadian. Yeah. I'm just going to just hold it, hold it for a second. Talk okay. whilst I click the... Urge me flip. C'est un chanteur canadien. Canadien. C'est un chanteur canadien. Right, so it's a Canadian something. Chanteur. Yeah, oh. now there's a clue there. There's a clue there because I yeah, I think to... if it was female, I think it would be chanteuse. Oh, I really? Believe. Oh, well, yeah. now you've done it. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's a male Canadian. Chanteur. Now, okay, so my mind immediately goes to uh, Chanticleer, which I believe is a class of hen or, or cockerel. Um, but also chant. <laughs> Yeah, just chanting. Yeah, chant. Is it a singer? S yeah, synonymous okay. with singing, isn't it? Chant. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm really. I'm. Whatever answer I give, whether I get it right or wrong, it's going to embarrass me. When I, I think of chants, I, I think of like the monks and that. You know, I can beat you at dominoes. Oh yes. My mum loves something. that. Um, well, as well as uh, South London hip hop. Right. Now, so as I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass myself here. As f I only know off the top of my head. Mm, no, nah, okay, I can think of about maybe four Canadian male Canadian singers. So I'm gonna have three guesses, right? I'm gonna make them as as far spread as possible. Look um, into my eyes. Yeah, exactly. In in terms of era and and style, I'm gonna try and make them as far spread as possible. Okay. Go on then. Go on fast then. Paul Anker. No. All right. Drake. No. Do you want another clue? All right, I've only got one left, and I don't think it's going to be him, so go on. It's not Brian Adams, but I'm not guessing Brian Adams. Go on. That was, that was your last guess. No, right. it wasn't. My last guess was going to be Michael Bublé. Who I'm not even sure it's Canadian, no. but I think he is. All right, I'll give you a different clue. Right. Okay. Son premier... Album a pour titre My World. His first album was titled My World. Yeah. That could be anybody. Is that not illuminating for you? Not at all. Somebody um, not very creative. <laughs> Is it Brian Adams? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not Leonard Cohen. I'll tell you all that right, much. I'll give you a new clue. Il a. Really beaucoup de fans qui sont <laughs> appel appel all right I tell you what I'm oh wait hang on no I think I know who it is from just what you've just said his his many fans are referred to as believers that, that special word yeah it's Justin isn't it ah oh, cripes which Justin Justin B just could have been. Bieber. I never, never would have thought of him. All right, I'm just going to see if I can um, get Google to um, read that out. Okay. Il a beaucoup de fans qui sont appelés les. Appelés les. Il a beaucoup de fans. I do refresh it one more time. Hold on. Il a beaucoup de fans qui sont appelés les. Qui sont appelés les. And then it. It refuses to read. <laughs> it refuses to read the next word. Believers. <laughs> it just refuses on principle. No, oh, sorry, Justin, I didn't get you. That just shows my uh, where my interests lie. I suppose, doesn't that? Oh, there we go. I love this. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Great little game, isn't it? All right, I got a new one for you here. Two. Peu. Les porter au ski. Tu peux les porter au ski. Tu peux ski. Yeah. You porter. You wear, wear them. You wear them while skiing. Right, I'll just do a read out. Tu peux les porter au ski. Tu peux les porter au ski. 
You can wear them while skiing. Right, you can wear. Yeah. That's right, poo. You can you can wear them while skiing. Yeah. <laughs> That covers an awful lot of ground. Mm. I'm not going to be ridiculous and suggest skis. No. I think it might be uh, goggles. Mm, you might be close, right? Um, les stars en... Right, I'm not going to read this out because I might be wrong, but just give me a second. I'll get it to read it out. Okay. Les stars en portent souvent. Les stars en portent souvent. Les stars en portent souvent. I think that's how she said it. Les stars en portent souvent. Les stars en portent souvent. The, the port is spelled P-O-T-E-N-T, -E but I think the pronunciation, they miss out the N-T. And it mm. means stars, as in like, Mega stars, pop stars. Yeah. Wear them often. <laughs> so uh, well, it's definitely not skis because I don't see Beyonce walking down the street with her skis on. So what? What about her hubby, J Z? Is he called J Z? J Z. Yes. I'm up. To, I'm up to date. Don't you worry. I'm Clearly. up to date. Clearly. Um, okay. So it can ah, need. Okay. I don't think you wear these while skiing. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna throw a flag on lingua memes here. But I feel like it must be shades. Yeah. Yeah. Sunglasses. Lun lunettes de soleil. Sunglasses. Lunettes. Right. I think is kind of like lenses. I think. I think lunette is lenses mm -hmm. of sun. <laughs> lunette du soleil. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna keep on torturing mm. you now with these. I know it's good. Right. Like, okay. Yeah, the, odd, the odd bit of torture is good. Oh my goodness, this is a long one. I'm going to have to get it to read it out. Cause... Le premier fut commercialisé par la marque américaine Motorola. Le premier fut commercial... commercialisé par la marque américaine Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my no, there's always me. one word, isn't there, that just gives it away. Le premier. Yeah, that's, that's how it starts. Le premier. Foot, I don't know this word, was released. Oh, right. foot commercialisé was released. I think we might be talking about... By uh, La Marque is the brand. Yeah. Américain. Motorola. I think you might be talking... I'm going to get this wrong now, aren't I? But I think you might be talking about... Mm, portable. Telephone, telephone portable. Yeah, or just. As far as I remember, we had just portable on its own as a sort of slang. Yeah. I think we'll go for telephone portable, though. Okay. I don't want people to go into their GC GCSEs. Relying on this. Lying around. Okay, no, fair enough. Telephone port. Belt and braces at all times. Yeah. Okay. Telephone portable. There we go. Should we do one more? Yeah, why not? You obviously mm. take a great deal of pleasure in this, showing off and uh, mm -hmm. being the boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See? Enchanters. Et une danseuse américaine. I'm just going to click singer, on that. A, a singer and dancer American. Mm. Now that is that leaves a lot of leeway, Danny. I think I deserve. I can hear the people watching this crying out, chanting, if you will, for me to I'm, get another another clue. I'm just going to click the 
the sound thing. C'est une chanteuse et une danseuse américaine. C'est une chanteuse et une danseuse américaine. No idea yet? No clues? You want to no, have a I wild... Need, I need a clue. A wild a, stab in the dark. A wild yeah, slash uh, in the dark. Michael Jackson. No, no, you see chanteuse. You see chanteuse. What? Chanteuse, not a chanteur. Oh, plo oh female. Chanteuse, yeah. Ah, okay. Une... Une being... Une yeah, you got me there. Trip me chanteuse. up, Chanteuse. Yeah, yeah, a chanteuse. Okay, that makes it interesting. Hmm. Does Gaga dance? I'm not sure she does. <laughs> mm. Don't I deserve another clue? Yeah, go on then. This is a tough one, come on. L. She. A. Marie. Uh oh, <laughs> this is kind of. Avec. Oui. J Z. <laughs> J there's J Z again. He's led a hard knock life, and you're getting his name wrong. I'm. I'm just gonna click on the speaker. Please do. Elle est mariée avec Jay Z. Now that's funny. She said Jay Z when she when um the Google said this out aloud. Elle est mariée. I think Jay Z. She knows how to pronounce it properly. That's why. No, you, next next of all, you're going to be telling me that McHammer is M C Hammer. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love going down to Mackey's at a weekend and having a McHammer. That's a it's like a Big Mac with beer in it. You're going to be telling me something silly like that. Right. Well, you are describing uh, en français. Mon ami, Beyoncé Giselle knows Cutter. <laughs> did you get that, eh? Didn't know I knew the full name, did you? Beyoncé Noel Edmonds was that? Yes. A uh, few people know she is, in fact, the niece of uh, Noel Edmonds. Yeah. Was yeah. it Noel Gallagher? Um. <laughs> right, Beyoncé has. She's got. Uh, she's got an a aigu on the end of she her name. Beyonce. E acute. Actually, when I say A acute, it sounds like I'm trying to say A like A B C, but it's. Mm. I was doing it in French. I'm oh, with you. I follow you. I'm, I'm trying to be too smart when I'm not. Yeah, trying to put on that French accent. E aigu. E aigu. Beyonce. There we go. Mm. I think I did pretty well there, didn't I? Well, yeah. I, th I think I think you did super superbly. Uh, oh, Justin <clears throat> Justin Bieber threw me. I'll give you that. Are you a believer? I'm not. Uh, I don't I don't think <clears throat> we should bully him, but I'm I, I can't claim to be a member of his church. <sighs> I take no pleasure in victimising a, a obviously a, a young lad who's obviously been set on a dodgy path, eh? Happened before. I've already mentioned Michael Jackson. That's yeah. What happens. Too but much, too young, folks. You want to wait a while, like me. Yeah, but we we, we we are trying to aim at a younger audience. So, um, mm. can you just pretend to be a believer for t just for just for today? Do, 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 do kids actually like Justin Bieber? Of course they do. And um, I'm not sure about that. I think you might need. Come no, on. On just just for today, just say something nice about Right, Justin. yes. I love Justin Bieber because yeah. it's 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop me being sarcastic. <laughs> 2009. I think he was I think he was still kind of on his tricycle or something like oh, that. Oh, bless him. Um yeah, anyway, Beyoncé. What do you think about Beyoncé? She's all right, isn't she? Good, good sort, yeah. She got it. Got what it takes. So I have to reprogram my brain now to say J Z. J Z. He is American, so you know. Instead of J Z. Yeah. Sorry. J Z. <laughs> well, I say, um, yeah, yeah. He is American, and you know, if he was English, I'm sure it would be pronounced Z. And what's one of his big numbers then? J Z. Hmm. 
Uh, well, he did. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay. There's some I can't say. But people who know Jay Z. Oh, know. is he one of those people who puts naughty words into his songs? I'm afraid occasionally, yeah. Uh, a, bit, a bit like his, um, uh, the updated Bernard Cribbins. <laughs> yes, exactly. A lot Jesus of blooming, a lot of blooming and bleeding and things like blinking. Sorry, not bleeding. But An blinking. entrepreneurial African American Bernard Cribbins. Uh, okay, can't knock the hustle. There you go. That's my. Uh, my family friendly Jay Z recommendation. Do you think do you think Jay do you think Jay Z would be able to do a, a nice rendition of Hole in the Ground by Bernard Cribbins? Yes, I do. I think I'd really like to hear it actually. Do you know what's gonna drive me nuts as well? Digging this hole hole in the ground, so big and sort of round it was and there was I standing in there, it was round and you, know, you could easily throw a mafioso hip hop uh backbeat on that. But um this is going to drive you nuts. I promise I'm not kidding. Jay-Z's name when on his albums is actually stylized with an umlaut over the Y. I kid you not. So there's Beyonce. It's a, this is a punctuation power couple. And Jay-Z. Well, so on I, that note... I know you're not going to believe me, but I, I have actually listened to a whole of a Jay-Z album. Right. Okay. No, you, you surprise me. He's not. He's not one I'd associate with being in your region. No. It was. But we've all got eclectic tastes deep down. So, what happened? Mm. Tell me. Uh, walk me through it. How did this happen? Well, I was given it to listen to by a friend, and um, I thought I'll give it. I I put myself in the car when I was driving somewhere. I thought right. I'm going to force myself to listen to the whole of this from start to finish. And um, there was one song that was all right. Okay. You don't remember what it was, though. The rest was mind-numbingly bad. (laughs) Oh, dear. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. It was like, give us a tune, will you, please? Mr. J, Mr. Z, please give me a tune. But um, someone doesn't appreciate modern hip hop. I don't either, really. Uh, I'm 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 much more of an '80s '90s hip hop guy. But uh, that's ter- That's your your review of the blueprint there. I wonder how that compares to NMEs. <laughs> you, you cannot trust the word that NME say. They, well, I don't know. They might. Have, I I don't know. I stopped reading it in 1989. So um, I hadn't started reading it in 1989. I think there's your answer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. Okay. So Jay Z not on the same level as the Bee Gees, as far as you're concerned, then. Yeah, you could get a whole alphabet, and none of it, <laughs> none of it would, ma- none of it would match the Bee Gees. Dearie me. In fact, in fact, the hip there's there's a lot of hip hop stuff that uses Bee Gees. It's um, what was his name? Like the half a half a crown. Fifty cent, that's him. Half a um, crown. <laughs> that's his, that's a much well, better name, half crown. I can't stand fifty cent. I feel I should just half say a crown. Uh, in that East Coast West Coast dispute, I definitely am not. Uh, no, I can't stand fifty cent. All right. So I'm, I'm uh, with you. If but it came he, down to Bee Gees versus Fiddy, I'd I'd side with the Bee Gees. Well, uh, half a crown, whatever it is. He, mm. he um, I'm pretty sure it was him. He did a, he did a kind of cover of Staying Alive. I right, think. yeah. Okay. But that bass, that that riff, bass riff, can't beat it. Disco, <laughs> you know, disco rolling beat. Yeah, but you don't need Curtis rapping over the top, do you? That's 50 Cent's real name. You don't, you don't need, you don't need Curtis. He can't, he can't add anything to it. If it was Ghostface Killer's version of uh, Staying Alive, I might listen. But as it is... Nope. Well, <laughs> you get two in a pound shop. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I've seen 50 cents albums in the shops and they're much more expensive than you'd expect. Yeah. I think we're about done for today. I think that last minute divergence possibly proves that. But, I mean, as you can tell, that game is a bit of an icebreaker. It will get you talking. It may even get you talking about French stuff. 
Um, and, you know, once you see it in other languages, German and Spanish and who knows what, the best thing about it, I think, is just that it's it's inherently a multiplayer challenge. You get two people involved, whether you're in the same room or not, as long as one of you isn't looking at the screen, you'll go far. Hmm. Entertainment at its best. And if if you want to be a bit sneaky, you can actually have a look at some of them before you play, and then it's like makes it a bit yeah, easy then. Danny did that. I don't feel bad telling our viewers that Danny actually did this uh, while we were preparing. He uh, he clicked on done repeatedly, so he could scroll through all the thousands of of possible outcomes and do a bit of last minute revision. Cheesy. Done, done. You have been. Yeah. Done exactly. up like a kipper. Done up like so a I'm, keeper. I'm gonna I'm gonna storm out of the Lingua Memes offices now. Uh, give us a note. like, give us a like, a subscribe, or whatever it is else you do yeah. on on the popular video channel. That is, um, yeah, Yao Chow. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Email in, us in Birmingham. Is it Yao Chow? <laughs> yes, it is. On Yao Chow. You, where did this come from? Apologies, Birmingham natives. And non-natives, anyone who sympathises with Birmingham, used to go through it all the time as a kid. Nothing but love for yeah, Brum. I used to live there, so... Tell them how they can email us in your best non-patronising accent of choice. All right, in your in your email is really Boston, right? And then you can email us, like? And that would be... Um, <sighs> Edmoon at... <laughs> li- <laughs> lingua memes dot com admin at linguamemes dot com pet oh, that's your Newcastle accent um, pick up a bit of a bit of Brum slang while you were there then because I have to admit I don't I never really hung out in Brum I didn't pick up any slang whereas yeah I'm right like <laughs> yeah I'm right yeah. no I think it's it's um, it's black country that I mm. kind of yeah. okay anyway we're going to get more are... of this English dialect on lingua memes because some of them are languages in their own right I think people so. have had enough of us by now. Look out! Yeah, we, probably have. yeah we, we we should probably we should probably wrap up. Yeah, cheers, folks. Yeah, cheerio.